previously. I don't like that at all. Do not like it. I could extend the fortress out. How much space do I need? I would need... Well, let's say I do it in blocks of three. And then I've just like one extra one on the edge. So I would need six... Seven with a torch. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Just need to come back and uh, rebuild some of this. And then this way, I hope, I really hope this doesn't look awful after I've remodeled it. In fact, I don't even know what background wall I've got on here. Is this silver brick wall I put in? I think it might be so good job we mined up a load of silver if it is. Give me that back, and this back, and you get out my life. So let's have a look. What is this? It is silver brick wall. So pop that back in here. We got four silver bricks here. Look, we start laying the floor down already. Okay, so we need to go home, get some silver bricks, silver brick wall, and bone wand, and then we can make the place look nice. It's been a while, actually, hasn't it, and since we've done um, a big, a nice old remodel. I don't think there's gonna be enough silver bricks. But it shouldn't matter because we have lots of silver ore now. Look at that. Just look at that and then get away, Riff. Uh, we're going to need some stone. Luckily, we never run low on that. And then we're going to need the bone wand from in here. Oh, and them um, bones, I guess. Bones are in this one. This is going to get expensive rather quickly. Right, so silver bricks. I don't know. <gasps> oh no! How? Why did it jump suddenly to that? I didn't run out of resources. Oh well, I don't care. Right. Stop it. Stop it. Why is it doing it? Why is it jump? I'm trying to craft them up and it just instantly jumps me to the... Next thing. Or is, why have I lost my ability to craft? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Silver brick walls. Maybe me that many. Might be too many. I don't know. I don't care. I can turn bone block walls back into bones. No, I can turn bones into bone block wall. I don't know if I can reverse that process, actually. I can. Good. I didn't want those. Right, so we've got silver bricks, silver brick walls, and bones. And it stopped raining, and it's daytime. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, sucks to be you, angry Nimbus. Oh, oh, it's brutal. Oh, right through the eye. Ooh, I got a Nimbus rod out of that. Quite a red drop. Oh, look at this horrible open space here. So silver bricks would go like this. Bone would go like this. But we do need, of course, to dig up somewhat there. Beautiful. And then silver brick wall. Let's see if I made enough. Let's see. I think... I think we've got enough here. It's all looking good to me. I didn't bring any torches with me because I'm an idiot, but... On the bright side. I wanted, it one, I wanted it one favour, didn't I? Now, who's the idiot? It's me again. 
Ooh, I don't like how close that is to being exposed there. It's getting close. Like, let's use the actual... these. Five extra somehow. I don't know. Right, silver brick walls. Put that in. And then... We're practically done. We've done so well. Let's drop down. Pop away at whatever we can, wherever we can. I don't know what I'm holding. <laughs> but I'm assuming some stuff will go away quickly. Stuff in there, stuff in here. Bone wand in to there. Silver brick walls back into here. Ice and snow can go away. That can go back up there, that can go back up there. And now I'm practically done. All I need to do is put these trophy, these masks on those things. But I'm not doing that right now. No, no, no. I'm going to do that once I have all of the masks. It'll be like a celebration victory. Like, yes, I've completed this. And now here I am placing them upon my walls. Well, upon my mannequins, I guess you would say. But first of all, I took my ice torch, I'm going to come over here and place it, and we're done. Done and dusted. Quickly check the map, and let's have a look. Does that look ugly? That doesn't look ugly. I'm, ha I'm happy with that. It looks kind of okay, I guess. I could bring it out a little bit more, but then we'd lose the snow down there. I don't like... I want, more, I want there to be more snow. Oh well. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I can't van, but I'm... I'm going to stop complaining, I guess I should say. Right, Walter, my old man, my old chum, buy that. Because I don't want it. And then I'm going to go home. Put these pennies away. In here. And it's been a while since we had a boss fight. Remember how I said I was spacing them out? So let's go and fight the Eater of Worlds. Using worm food. Now this is our last shot at the Eater of Worlds until we go grinding for more rotten chunks, which I desperately need to do. <laughs> oh, I timed that perfectly. There's another lens over there, I'm gonna grab that too. I'm not gonna die to my own traps. Absolutely not. Or you. So I'm gonna bring in the Eater of Worlds. I shouldn't really need to do anything, but I might pop a few sickles into it anyway to see. So let's um let's bring all bring out the old guy. What is that down there? That's a diving... No, that's an ancient... That's an ancient shadow helmet, I think. That's a very rare drop. I'm not sure if I have one. Yeah, ancient shadow helmet. That might be something to uh, have a look at. I haven't got the right moon accessory on, so I'm drowning. Yeah. Okay, at least I'm out. Yeah, so let's bring this guy out. Let's have a look at what he's got to offer us. And we're done. Let's go down and see if he gave us that mask. Oop, avoid that. Avoid these. Oh, I. This is what it used to be like before I had my special shell that allowed me to turn into a merman. Going underwater is so time consuming. <laughs> right, you know what, in fact, I'm going home. So, quickly looking, we didn't get the mask. Strangely though, we did get the Eater's Bone. Someone's a baby Eater of Souls. That is, again, another incredibly rare item. So we're getting rare stuff, just not the rare stuff we want. Uh, I want to go down. Now this Ancient Shadow Helmet. That's basically Shadow Armor. Which I... Did I ever make any of that? I think I did. I always call it Demonite Armor, but it's called Shadow Armor. I'm sure I made some. Where would I have... I'll have put it in my... Hmm, what's it called? What is it called? The underwater base. Let's 
fine and dandy to get across there. So yeah, basically, the ancient shadow armour, not just the helmet, but the, the entire set, it's what the shadow armour used to look like before it was retextured. So if we go up... Was that it right there? Here it is, look, this is the newer texture. So I've put that there. You can see, look, regular shadow and then the ancient before it got retextured. Regular iron and the ancient before it got retextured. Regular gold and the ancient before it got retextured. And the regular necro and the ancient before it got retextured. I think the same goes for... I think that's it. I don't think there are any other ancient stuff, is there? Maybe. Let me know. Leave a comment. Oh, I needed to be there. I needed to be there. Send me back. Going up and across. And then I want to be in this top one to add the Eater's Bone to my collection of duplicate uh, summoning item dealios. Now, let's have a look. Let us consult my list once more and see what we have to do now. Uh, Okram, we can fight Okram again. We can wait for the Travelling Merchant. And I don't want to do that yet. Something I'm going to do, and I'll do it next session, I think. I don't want to do it now, and I'll explain why in a second. But what I want to do is just remove this corruption. I don't want any corruption on my surface. I just want it to be gone. But that also gives us more building space, because we're running out of building space. So I would like to have building space here. And there's a couple of ideas of things I want to build there. The only issue is, though, if I get rid of this corruption, I can't get rotten chunks without, you know, descending deep into the corruption here. So what I'll do is I'll farm a load of rotten chunks in my grinder here, or maybe somewhere else. And then when we come back, I'll get rid of the corruption there. So that's that. This is a secret one... Ducks, I haven't seen any. Twins, put them off. Ockram. Can have to be another Ockram fight? I forgot to put away this, didn't I? Of course. Of course, of course. Don't care. I'll get back to it at some point later. But now we need iron. We need adamantite. And we need... We're out of lenses. We need... Bones, we need souls of sight, light, souls of night. Come down here for some more lenses. So, lens farming is even more. Oh, I'm completely out of lenses. I can't even fight Okram now. This is what I mean. Lenses, it, they're holding me back. And they take so long to farm them, and there's nothing I can do to speed up the process. Now, Okram. You notice how I've fetched one Adamantite Ore. We're lucky that Okram drops Adamantite Ore when you kill him. It's not a lot, but it's enough to take a bit of the pain away. So if I can find where it is, there it is. That's six. So we've killed him twice, not even enough to fight him one more time. But yeah, now I just need to go get... In terms of ores and stuff, resources are good. In terms of wood, how's our wood looking? It's, it's okay. We could could do with more pale wood and regular wood, but pale wood is difficult because my hello doesn't have too much, too many trees on it. It's only got that many. So back to this. What to do? Well, I was waiting for what's his chops to show up. The traveling merch be still isn't here. So let's. Let's quickly take a look over at the pond. And in that pond, we can see whether or not we have any ducks available. Or mallards. You know what, that's going to be a future project, actually. It's not going to be a let's build. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice small lake. A duck pond. I'm going to make a duck pond. That's what I'll do. I'll see if anything shows up to that. Right, just I could have warped here again, I forgot. Yeah, so there's no ducks here. There's like a blueberry bush there, though. But what I can do is go here. Take everything out of that chest. 
remove that chest. These chests are here to remind me to do stuff. And that is remi to remind me to get all the masks. As soon as I've got the final two masks, that chest will be gone. Now, what, oh, now you're wondering, what are you going to do with all these pets? Easy cheesy, I made preparations for these pets, didn't I? You may remember it. It was a few episodes ago. I made this little restaurant here that serves up fresh food. And I had these barrels ready. So we're going to start storing in animals. Separate them by species, maybe? Genus. Separate them by species and order them in genus. I guess. Maybe. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm making a right mess of this. That there, that there, that there, that there. That there. That there. So we've got some worms, rabbits. We need a penguin. That's what we need. We need a penguin to throw in here. I guess we'll keep our eyes open. And I've just happened to pick up a mushroom, so I'll pop that in to my restaurant here. And I'm going to say... <gasps> oh no, I took a lamp off. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow to see me uh, remove the corruption from that area. Fight the eyes of Cthulhu even more to try and get the binoculars. Fight Plantera to get the axe. It's raining again. Fight the Eater of Worlds to get the mask. Fight Okram to get the mask. And that's probably going to take us like an entire few sessions. And yeah. See if the travelling merchant shows up and maybe I'll get on with my secret project. For now though, goodbye.